All right, guys. So lucky last stop on our little um, Halloween trick or treating um, extravaganza this evening. We're dead set um, up in the area um, near Roma Street, and if I if I spin around a little bit here, you'll probably recognise our glamorous water feature behind us here. I'll do a little bit of a 360 spin just so you can get a, a pretty good idea of the lay of the land where we're at. You can see over my shoulder there you've got the William Jolly Bridge and then the buildings you can see in the background there you've still got the B105 building tucked in the back of that one as well. So I'll spin right back around Again, you've got thousands and thousands. You can see some cars going over to South Bank now. The William Jolly's there in the background. And I keep spinning around. There's a good looking gentleman in the back watering there. I don't know what his go is. And um, you've got the Roma Street Fire Station is coming into view just behind me here. Probably see the appliances there. Why are we here, folks? And sometimes, you know, the strangest stuff that you find out about where you live. We're actually standing on Brisbane's first? first cemetery. First cemetery. We've got 250 souls buried right here underneath our feet. Thousands of cars make it over this, um, this site every single day and, and no one really knows about it. So what, they are 250 convicts. So 250 convicts, convict overseers, soldiers, um, members mm. of the soldiers' families. There's William Chetwin Stapleton, who was a surveyor explorer, um, two men who were indigenous men who were accused of murdering him, are also buried right. pretty much alongside him. And the story, the story around um, those that, that pair of Aboriginal men, it's alleged that they were hanged up at um, Wickham Terrace. They were. At the so, yeah. Um, Stapleton had gone out with a surveying party to do some exploring down around Mount Lindsay. Um, his um, party was attacked. Virtually everyone was killed by one man who was very lucky to make it back to Brisbane, but in a very bad state of affairs. Um, a search party went out of um, some soldiers. They um, apprehended two indigenous men down around Mount Lindsay, um, accused them of being complicit in the murder of um, the surveying party. They were brought back and actually hanged um, from a, a makeshift beam that was stuck out the window um, of the old convict windmill. It's up, at, um, up on Wickham Terrace um, and their execution, um, they were brought down and buried here alongside the body of Stapleton. It's funny um, how that works, you know. His like, body had been brought back from Mount yeah, Lindsay. So. Yeah, but it just blows me away, Strange Encounters fans, that we've got a cemetery, the original cemetery, right underfoot here. We've got, and the way it's um, the border of it is, I will just show you, I'll flip this camera around, we'll just show you where it borders. Okay, so where that truck's just gone past the edge of that building pretty much overlaps the boundary of the cemetery. And as I spin around here, you'll see that there's a grassed area. Pretty much everything, Liam, would you say within this grassed area here yep. was so, the cemetery proper. So this grassed area, as you can see, you can stick my finger right in front of it, there's a roadway just here and there's a grass area on the other side. The other side is still cemetery right so, sort of this this roadway along here but oh, throwing it out of focus actually runs right through the guts of what was the original Brisbane cemetery so these so, cars that are, are traveling daily are over on over consecrated ground yeah driving over dozens and dozens of bodies yeah and again I feel that little bit of activation here as well just being here it's a it's a bit unnerving but but just check out this is the most beautiful cemetery water feature I've seen <laughs> for quite a while so 250 souls, and um, Liam was telling me this really funny story about the B105 building, um, which is just around the corner behind us. Hey, um, and yeah, that, we're sort of just looking at the back of the yeah, yeah. camp behind us. And um, they were having all sorts of strange anomalies taking place, and we're trying to work out why um, things were going on the way they were. And I actually contacted Liam several years ago to ask him, you know, could you come in and do an investigation for us? And he's turned around and said, well, well you realise you're, um, you're basically, your building overlaps one of Brisbane's oldest, or Brisbane's oldest cemetery. So, uh, funny how things work out, yeah, hey? So, yeah, lots of, lots of unusual goings on and no one could quite figure out why the building should be haunted because it wasn't that old. 
um, sort of sort of being yeah, pretty much built over the top of the cemetery. Well, guys, unless um, we have a, a mad um, a request for, to stay out and do one or two more locations, we're going to call it um, for this evening. It's been a really, really interesting sort of experience moving in through the city and uncovering some of the, the stories that we really don't get to hear about. And actually, physically um, being proximal to some of the landmarks and the historical landmarks, like the old the old um, morgue, which is earmarked for demolition with, with, with the new... Um, uh, the Queen's War Queen's Precinct. War Precinct. Um, it's, yeah, we'll go straight over the top of it. Yeah. So it stays are seriously numbered now. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to get in there and, and, and record that. Um, but it, it's going to be fairly difficult to, to, to achieve. But, you know, there's sites like this all over Brisbane and you just got to wonder, you know, what's going on energetically and, and why things are a little bit messed up the way they are. But I guess we... We've got to ask ourselves a question too, Liam. Like, why? Why do we come out and do this sort of thing? Why do we come out on a night like this and traipse around in the scrub and the in the dark and, and bring these sorts of stories to you? What, what's the benefit of, of going through this stuff? So I think at least so everyone has a much better understanding, I guess, of not only the history of Brisbane. There's so much that's come and gone, and um, you know, been long lost um, to to living memory. Um, but I think also, you know, important, especially at a place like this, you know, on Halloween of all nights when the veil is a lot thinner, um, you know, I guess to commemorate, you know, those who have come before us, you know, and, and past as well, um, considering that, you know, we've got 250 bodies directly underneath our feet, um, and very, very few people actually know about them. And I guess you've got to look at it too, right, just in terms of um, what the energetic signature is of a place like this and how we, how we can restore that and... and and I guess, um, and I reconcile what's actually been done to these significant spaces. But I mean, I guess that's a topic for, for another show in terms of earth healing, etc., and, and trying to restore those balances. But I guess, yeah, on the topic of that, that veil thing too, guys, I guess to add from what Liam's saying, it's a very special, a very sacred time um, of the year, right around the world, for a whole lot of different cultures who are experiencing that. And we talk about that veil sometimes in a metaphoric sense but um but it is a time it is a time for that that for communing with those that have gone before us too so you know there are things that you can do if you're interested in that sort of thing to um to bring your ancestral energies closer to yourself so that you can be in commune with them um and there are a whole lot of different places and a lot of different people that you can speak to about doing that and, and there's a whole lot of different ways you can do Place that as well so and that's my heritage is irish so i'll definitely sort of when i get home tonight i'll be lighting a candle and you know putting it in the window and that's sort of always been the irish way to you know yeah. expecting the spirits of lost loved ones home you know if not for the one night candle magic's a very a, a very well, it can be complex but it's a, it can the entry to it is, is quite a simple proposition guys if you even i think in terms from memory is a purple candle when you're looking at communing you know with higher entities or other worldly entities so um maybe you know start going down that track if, you, if you're, you're partial to, to lighting a candle and and focusing your intention in that way so there you go, folks. Um, it's been an interesting evening. A lot of really good story here, and I've got a feeling we're just scratching the surface with this yeah, stuff too. Literally scratching the surface. And I don't really want to be scratching uh, the surface here for obvious reasons. But yeah, absolutely, absolutely fascinating story. So I guess it's good night from us, Liam. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. So it's been a very interesting night. And you know, yeah, going everywhere. Yeah, it has. And thank you for bearing with us with the technical hiccups. You know, hey guys, you know, I'm a radio guy. I don't do this, um, you know, look at me, look at me, Facebook live stuff. <laughs> so we're just thumbing our way through. But we've had an absolute ball. We hope you guys have had a bit of a good time with us as well. Thanks very much and uh, happy Halloween.